Today, we have a new battery from Rododo. We have our manual packet, our M8 terminal bolts. All right, and here's the battery. So this is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. They're calling this their Marine Smart. So obviously it has Bluetooth. It says Bluetooth 5.0 right over here. And it says for trolling motor and more. And up here at the top, we have some specs. Uh, obviously it is a 100 amp hour. Our charging voltage is 14.4 plus or minus 0.2 volts. Uh, it says our max continuous charge and discharge current is 100 amps. And max continuous output power is 1280 watts. And it has a QR code here to download their app. And the manual says you can do four in series and a four in parallel. All right, let's get a weight on this battery. And we have 22.6 pounds. All right, so let's go ahead and charge this guy up. All right, now the battery is fully charged. I did download their app and it seems to work just fine. It shows us our state of charge, how much power is going in and out of the battery, the voltage, and some status here. Uh, it's very straightforward. So that's pretty much about all I can find on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and start a capacity test. Let's turn on the inverter. And then we'll turn on the air conditioner as the load. All right, so we're drawing power, about 500 watts right now, uh, about 30-ish amps. It's probably gonna settle down a little bit. And here's the app doing its thing right here, showing uh, 400 watts roughly coming out a little less than 30 amps, the voltage. All right, so I'll just let it continue on and whenever it's complete, we'll come back and check the results. All right, guys, uh, so the test is technically still running. However, we have gone down to 0% on my shunt here. That indicates that we did, in fact, uh, pull out 100 amp hours. So it has passed the amp hours. And then looking at the app, for the shunt here, it shows we have discharged 1.3 kilowatt hours, which is over uh, the advertised capacity of the battery. And it's still going. So we have definitely passed. Uh, we're gonna continue to let it go to see how far it gets. And then I'll be back. All right, so the inverter is now complaining. So that's usually where I go ahead and shut the test down. So we'll stop it now. And we'll turn off the inverter. All right, so we got 1.34 kilowatt hours. So 1,340 watt hours divided by a nominal voltage of 12.8 gives us 104.68 amp hours. All right, so I got the lid pounded off pretty much. Yeah, so let's go ahead and pull it the rest of the way. There we go. And let's take a look. See what we got here. All right, so there's the BMS. Looks like a big, beefy guy. We have three 10 gauge silicone jacketed 200 Celsius wires going to the negative on the positive I think it's a feels like a six it's covered in this right here so it's I can't really read it uh, but I, it feels like a six in there and then uh, we do in fact have prismatic cells let's see if we can get the cells out All right, so let's take a look here. 
So we have our laser welded bus bars. We do have the relief hump, or maybe we call it the expansion hump, I'm not sure. The uh, cells are banded together, got these plastic corners. Clearly, again, they are prismatics. There are uh, material between the cells to separate them. Fantastic. And I see a thermal sensor right here. So let's go ahead and try to test the, um, let's test to see if we've got low temperature protection. Okay, I got the charger on. You can hear it over there. Uh, we're putting in 500 watts, about 43 amps. And so I'm gonna try to freeze up this temperature sensor here. And there we go. We stopped charging. So I have no more current going into the battery via the app. And uh, it warmed back up, so we're back to charging. Let's go ahead and put my clamp on so we can verify there. So we got 40 going in, and uh, I'm gonna shoot it with the duster here to freeze it up. And there we go, zero. Yep, it does in fact work. So we do have low temperature charging protection. Oh, okay. And there's a little, the little Bluetooth dongle portion right there coming off the BMS. Yeah, the build quality is there. I don't see any issues. We've got high density foam all the way around. The cells are nice and protected. Looks good to me. All right, guys, so I think that's going to be it for the video. As always, let me know what you think about this battery in the comment section. I'll leave links down in the description, and I'll catch you on the next one.